The First World War usually conjures up images of men fighting in the trenches. It's easy to forget that the war was also taking place on the water, and that Canada's sailors played a key part. The Royal Canadian Navy came into being in 1910. The Royal Naval College in Halifax opened the same year, under the direction of Sir Charles Kingsmill. Four years later, war broke out. Canada had just two ships at the start of the war, and one of them, HMCS Niobe, was in dire need of repair. After it was fixed, it patrolled the Gulf of St. Lawrence and later intercepted German ships along the American coast. The second ship was called HMCS Rainbow. Like the Niobe, the Rainbow was an obsolete cruiser acquired secondhand from Britain. The Rainbow was sent to British Columbia where it patrolled the west coast. By 1917, the Rainbow was reassigned to Halifax to help fight the growing German U-boat threat. Meanwhile, civilians volunteered their yachts and other small craft to help guard the east coast. About a hundred small vessels were pressed into service. The threat was very real. By the summer of 1918, German subs were sinking fishing boats in Canadian waters. The U-boats also attacked ships crossing the Atlantic. In June of 1918, a German submarine sank the Canadian hospital ship Land of Recastle off the coast of Ireland. 234 doctors, nurses, patients, and crewmen died. It was the biggest Canadian naval disaster of the war, and quickly became a tool for propaganda. By the end of the war, the number of sailors in Canada's Navy had grown from 350 to more than 5,000. About 150 Royal Canadian Navy sailors died during the course of the conflict. Two decades later, Canada's Navy would again face the threat of the U-boat. Again, it found itself short-handed and undersupplied. But unlike the first war, the Canadian Navy was able to rapidly build new warships. During the Battle of the Atlantic, its fleet played a critical role protecting convoys of supply ships. By the end of the Second World War, the Canadian Navy had 434 vessels, making it one of the largest among the Allied nations.